Hi, I'm Dr. Isabel Kilcoyne, and I'm here to talk to you today about properly applying vet wrap. Vet wrap is a self-adhesive bandaging material that we use to apply over bandages to help provide extra pressure and compression and to help hold the bandages in place. The most common misuse of vet wrap is to use it without sufficient padding underneath. What it can happen is that it can cut off circulation to the distal limb. So ideally when you're applying vet wrap you want to have a nice thick layer of padding um, and a brown gauze securing the padding in place and applying the vet wrap with even compression over your padding. This is a horse that sustained a wound to the front part of its hind leg a few months ago and is currently undergoing bandaging and cleaning twice a week. So the first thing we're going to do is apply some triple antibiotic ointment to the wound. So whenever you're handling a wound, you always want to wear gloves as well. Next layer we're going to apply is the non-adhesive dressing. So taking care not to touch the part that's going to be on the wound. You want to just apply it on the front of the wound and then secure it with your cling. You want to wrap very lightly. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just putting enough pressure to hold the telfa in place. The next layer we're going to apply is our padded layer. So I'm applying the padding from the coronary band all the way up the cannon bone, making sure that it's even and not scrunched up anywhere. I'm not putting it on tight, I'm just placing it. The next layer we're going to apply is our brown gauze. So what this does is to secure the combi in place. You want to pull on your dorsal surface and wrap around your flexor tendon. So the most important thing to remember is to apply even pressure the whole way around the leg, up and down to ensure that the bandage is secure. So the next layer we're going to apply is our vet wrap layer. So you can see that I'm pulling out enough to remove the crinkles that are in the vet wrap, but I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on as I'm pulling. Again, the most important thing is to apply even pressure as you're applying the vet wrap. So you can see that I've left a little bit of the combi sticking out at the top and at the bottom so as not to cause too much pressure on the skin by the vet wrap or the brown gauze. So lastly, we're going to apply some elasticon to the top and the bottom of the bandage. So not putting too much pressure on, nice and lightly just to secure the bandage <laughs> to ensure no debris or shavings get down between the skin and the bandage. So things to monitor when your horse has a bandage on his leg is to ensure that it hasn't slipped, that it remains upright and tied to the leg. You also want to monitor for any swelling above the bandage or below the bandage if it's up a little higher. And also you want to ensure that the elasticon stays tight around the leg, but not too tight. You just want to have it laid on to make sure that no shavings or anything get down in between the leg and the bandage. And remember the most important thing when you're wrapping legs or if you have a horse with a wound is to consult with your own veterinarian, have a proper diagnosis and a proper treatment plan in place. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!